I'm with Ryan Turnbull here on the corner of Fitzroy and Key Street in Rockhampton in one of the most unmistakable landmarks in Rockhampton. We're at the Cry Hotel where the Turnbull family next year will celebrate the third decade of being the custodians of this wonderful hotel facility. Ryan, uh, it wasn't always like this. It, it, it's had a bit of an evolution over the years from the gold rush in the 1850s. Tell us the journey and the history of the Cry Hotel. Um, well, first up, we'll go with the, the, the Bush Inn trading store that was first built uh, when they used to bring the boats up the river. This is as far as they could get. So for transit from in here to Mount Morgan and the gold mine stuff, uh, they built a trading store called the Bush Inn. Uh, hence why it's the Bush Inn Steakhouse now. Um, it then moved on to about 18, you could say 1867 or 1857. They built a one-storey timber Criterion Hotel. And then come the 1889s, 1890, this is when um, the, the big girl went up then. What, what beautiful architecture. For those people in Brisbane, uh, the Brecky Ho Creek Hotel shares simi similar characteristics. Yeah. Do, you, do you know if there's any relationship between yeah, the two yeah, buildings? Yeah, there's the same architect and uh, I'd, I would have said the same builders, but couldn't exactly nail that one down. But yeah, definitely the same architect. Brecky Creek went up first and then they moved up here and put the cry in. There's something unique about the fact that there's only been three families that have run this uh, facility or the hotel over the years. Uh, what, do you, what do you think it is about the Cry Hotel that uh, makes it so iconic and, you know, once a family gets here, they tend to stay here for a long time? Um, you could say location, location, location. Like, look where it is. It's predominant. It stands out. The architecture is absolutely amazing. Um, and, it, it, yeah, you take a lot of pride in looking after it. Yeah, but we're, we're here on Key Street. Um, over the last few years, this whole precinct has been redeveloped. You've got some great alfresco dining area out the front at the moment. Has that been popular? Yeah, very popular. Good to see it full on a Sunday afternoon, uh, early evenings. Very, very popular. Excellent. And uh, there is a story, and I want to I want to put it on you. The Cry Ghost. It it has a reputation. What, what is the story with the Cry, cry Ghost? Oh, she's got, she's got a lot of different stories. I'll, I'll, I'll confirm that with my experience is that I'll say that she was a female. Um, uh, back in the late 1800s, jilted love between her and a stable hand. This is only one story, but the one with the nice one we stick with. Uh, fell in love, fell out of love, bit of rivalry. She, um, she did the sad thing and committed suicide and then after that yeah she's just history now and she's around all the time living within the walls yeah very interesting uh, a great place to come and grab a feed mm -hmm. uh, and and also a good uh, affordable accommodation for people visiting Rockhampton rooms start at what uh, $65 for basic single rooms upstairs and then um, the next one up are 75, the ensuite hotel suites in the hotel section are $100 a night, and then our motels out the back start at 115. Meals, 18 to $40, really affordable. Mm. Uh, good food, yeah. good, good pub feed. Yeah, great pub feed. It's, it's, it's one thing these guys do really well, is consistently good pub food. It's a hard thing to do over and over again. But yeah, no, all day dining, 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m. till 9 p.m. at night. Yep. Ryan, thanks for taking us through the cry today. Uh, what a magnificent piece of architecture. It's iconic Rockhampton. And uh, if people want to book or if they want to make contact and, uh, and make arrangements to visit the cry, what mm -hmm. can they do? Uh, the email address is reception at thecriterion.com.au and you can call us on the 0749 221 225. Wonderful. Thanks, Rhino. No worries, mate.